Hey YouTube, Gary's back. Uh, I figured I'd give you a little update on that 38 special I've been working on. Uh, it seemed like I've been having much of a chance to work on it here lately. Well, for one thing, it's been hot here. My old shop out there, it's like 110 degrees in there. And I'm just not going to do that. It's just too blooming hot. Uh, looks like we might get a break though here in a little bit. Looks like there's a thunderstorm coming. I certainly hope so. Because I will sit on the front porch and watch it roll in and roll on through. But anyway, here's what I got. Uh, the last update I showed you the oh uh, the barrel, the barrel lug, and the uh, barrel catch that I came up with, or that I built. I didn't really come up with it, I guess. And now we've gone ahead. I went ahead and made a trigger, or excuse me, not a trigger, a hammer. And right now it's just in the kind of roughed in stage, but uh, got a connecting rod running down to the spring, a little stop on there that actually pulls on the spring, slot cut in a uh, quarter inch thick aluminum spacer. I'm going to have to relieve the side pieces a little bit because my spring's a little bigger in diameter than a quarter inch. So I just have to grind a few, a couple grooves in the uh, inside of the side plates, of course. By the way, it's just, uh, I got her kind of threw it together there last night. Uh, one thing I have discovered, uh, like on my brake barrel shotgun, I silver soldered the receiver together with the breech plug and you can't take it apart. When you have it, when you bolt the breech plug in and you can work on it one half at a time, it makes this so much easier because you can see what you're doing. And I'm sure when I get to making the trigger here and the sear and the sear notches will be a whole lot easier to do. See how I can lay everything right in there and see what's going on. But anyway, you got to kind of hold it together so it doesn't fly apart right now because it doesn't have this other side on it. But I believe it's going good. I uh, cut my spring a little short. I'm going to have to put a little bit longer spring in there, I think, to get a little more snap, but that's okay because I got a, a piece of this spring about, oh, I don't know, a foot long at least. So I got plenty to experiment with. But anyway, I think it's, uh, so far it looks like it's going to work fine. Uh, I got a little more adjusting and tweaking to do. My hammer isn't hitting the breech block quite square yet. This slot in the aluminum, this top side here, needs to be relieved a little bit. And it will let that, oop, 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 spot the fly apart. It'll let that uh, hammer come up and strike the back of the breech squarely. But anyway, we're coming. Also, uh, since the last time, I was kind of worried about them uh, 832 threads in just a single layer of the eighth inch sheet metal. So I just JB, JB welded another piece of the eighth inch. It's hard to see right there I took and JB welded that piece on and then drilled and tapped through it also so now it's got twice as many threads uh, it just made me feel better about the whole deal I don't know if it was necessary or not but I did it because I can and I wanted to so I did all right so I will let you go and next time you see it, it'll have a trigger and it'll probably be a working gun at that point. So anyway, thanks for watching. Share, like, subscribe. I'm uh, up to over 300 subscribers now and I'm pushing 18,000 views, uh, which, I don't know, it's surprising to me. I don't know, hopefully it'll 
keep going if I can manage to keep you guys as interest. Alright, I'm going to let you go. Y'all have a good one.